What's going on, everybody? Jerry here. And I'd like to teach you guys how to phase out and how to pull a quick switch. What uh, Robert Monroe used to talk about. Because when I astral project, what I usually do, there's no real technique uh, that I use. I just really kind of phase out. And I'd like to say this is something that comes with uh, a little bit of time. Definitely takes a little bit of practice to phase and to pull a quick switch. So what you need to do, lay down, okay? Just lay down on your back, prop yourself up, okay? It's important to prop yourself up facing forward. You've got to uh, create a little bit of discomfort, okay? To keep from falling too deep into a dream state. You know that. I said it before. Okay? Now, your face wants to be facing just about forward, okay? To allow for a little momentum. Now, put your arms either to your side or in your lap and relax completely, okay? Don't tense up at all. Relax like you're trying to go to sleep, okay? Close your eyes. Face your eyes straight forward, closed. And close them tight, okay? Close your eyes tight. And focus and look straight forward, okay? Now, you need to take, you can, you can phase out, I would say, within 10 minutes. But you have to relax and you have to keep a clear head, okay? So, for the first five minutes or so, you just really want to uh, relax. You might want to say an affirmation or something. Um, if thought words start to pop into your head, clear it by just saying clarity now and clear your mind immediately again. Okay? It's important. When you clear your mind, you start to phase over. And you're going to do it a lot, a lot faster. Okay? So, face your eyes straight forward. Okay? But don't focus too much with them. Just look out into the darkness, okay? Look into the darkness, okay? Look straight out into it. And start to see the darkness coming in on you and you moving out into the darkness, okay? Don't think, don't try to visualize too much. Just look out into that darkness and stare as far out ahead into that darkness as you possibly can. And see the darkness shifting. See it all around you. See it start to be all around you, okay? And if you can keep a clear mind and just continue to move out into that darkness, okay? This is the phasing. You're going to start to feel a shift after doing this. 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it takes. You can keep your clear mind, keep relaxed, and continue to push out into that darkness. You're going to start to feel a shift. Some kind of shift is going to happen, okay? This is the phase. You're going to start to feel different. And do not start to think about this. Do not think about your body. Do not start to think thought words. Continue to focus on moving out into the darkness, okay? <clears throat> now, when you feel this shift, you're going to feel a slight difference, okay? You're going to feel like you're actually starting to shift out of your body and move out into the darkness, okay? And you are. Do not think about your freaking body during this time. Just don't do it, okay? Do not think anything. Continue with a clear mind to focus on moving far out into the darkness, okay? Now, as you start to feel like you're kind of floating into the darkness, okay? Start. What I do is I start to move my energy body to break it free. Okay, to break free from my expanded energy body with my astral body, you need to move a little bit. So you can imagine rocking, just swaying back and forth in the darkness, or you can do like a swimming motion, okay? And that might sound ridiculous, but you're actually, with your awareness, moving your astral arms out and doing this, and you're going to start to feel this, okay? And you're going to feel like you're swimming out into the darkness, okay? Pretty soon, keep a clear mind, keep relaxed you're going to phase right out into it, okay? Now, when you do this, you're likely to come out into the star field, okay? Just, you might start to see things, you might start to speed up, uh, you could see something spinning, a vortex, you could see lights. Just continue to relax and continue to move on out into it, and 
and within a minute or so you're going to start to phase into another reality, okay? Just remain relaxed. Now for pulling a quick switch. It's basically the same principle, okay? All you have to do is lay down the same way, do the exact same thing. Clear your mind completely, okay? Now, think of a, a familiar place. Once you start traveling out of body, you may visit certain places and you can bring that place into your awareness, okay? And phase straight into it, okay? So it's a phasing and a quick switch. You phase right into it. <clears throat> this is hard to do, okay? Don't think it's easy. It takes practice. It really does. But you can clear your mind, okay? And think of this place. And it's really simple. You just form this place all around you, okay? And imagine yourself just standing in this place. And look at it all the way around. Every detail of this place. Hold that into your awareness while keeping your mind clear, okay? And within a few minutes or so, you're going to phase into it. While you're doing this, you're going to feel intense uh, pulling, an intense pulling on your body. You're going to feel like your astral body is trying to pull itself out of your physical body, and it is. And this is tricky because you can't uh, focus on your body. Do not focus on your body during this time, okay, because it's going to screw it all up. Um, if you haven't traveled out of body before, you know it's going to be a lot harder, but with anything, you know, if you have the passion and desire to do it, just keep practicing, uh, keep doing it. If you want to have an out-of-body experience, just keep doing it. That, that, that's it. You just keep doing it and keep practicing and you're going to find what works for you. If you have the desire and the want to do it, then it's going to happen for you eventually. Just got to keep at it. That's it. Alright, thank you.